Brian, as the expert in this category, what is runtime security? Yeah. So the way that you can think about security is that there's there's two sides of it. One is preventing stuff from happening. It would be about if this were physical security or about making locks and you know hardening up the the procedures to get get you know through the front door and 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 so on. Uh, just preventative stuff in cyber in the cyber world. That's patching vulnerabilities, having processes and procedures to do security reviews of your code. Uh, trying to do, implement uh, least privileges, zero trust architectures, and uh, segmenting your doing micro segmentation and all that's preventative, right? It keep it, it makes it hard to get in, and if you do get in, it makes it hard to move around. The runtime side is much more about watching what is happening and detecting when something is going sideways, and the two sides there are you know. Early detection, you want to be able to detect it very early. And then you need to have the data you need to uh, to respond to the thing. Ideally, it's an automated response, but almost always the automated response is only part of the solution. A good example of that, a lot of EDRs will detect things like ransomware or a piece of malware on there. But the malware is usually just, that detection is just the tip of the iceberg. Because in most companies, when the malware has been in there, they've been in there for a couple you know, weeks or months right. around your ground, and there's a lot of data to delouse, a lot of work to delouse the environment. So whatever you're looking for in runtime security, you want to be able to both have it do good detection without a lot of noise, and then have it be able to do uh, uh, help you in the response side of it. Both the automated response, but don't forget the manual response side too. Uh, so runtime security is all about kind of what what is happening, and you know preventative security is all about preventing things from happening. And they feed on each other. You know when you detect something bad at runtime, of course you go back to the preventative side and say, how do we fail on the preventative side to fix it? Just like we do in software with bugs and with you know monitoring. That's the CPU load spiked or my you know the service went down for an hour. How do we prevent that from happening in the future? So those two play off each other. 